my little girl and I are going to go thrift shopping today while the big kids are at school. Wish me luck. I stopped by a new Salvation Army and the only thing they had was this cool outdoor table, which was really great and would have looked fabulous anywhere. Other than that, it was a complete miss though. Then I went to a Habitat for Humanity Restore and this was the only thing they had. It was beautiful though. Look at the upholstery on this. It was a custom built, is it a Duncan Five Style? Custom built sofa from a local company in Lexington, Kentucky and they only wanted $90 for it. I thought it was beautiful. I love the minimal lines, the clean, simple lines. Made me think of a Swedish style sofa, except for maybe those cutout things on the back, which kind of gives it that, what is it, like a 1930s look. They also had these chairs, which said not for sale, which was such a shame because they were so cool. The legs, the carving on the legs, they would have looked so good painted. I'm at a peddler's mall I've never been to before in the middle of Kentucky. Kentucky has a bunch of peddler's malls across the state and they're usually pretty good. So let's go inside and see what we can find. First thing I spotted were these Johnson Brothers plates, which is an English China company. Now they weren't made in England. They're newer from when I guess the company shipped production to China. That's not one of them actually. That's a different platter, which is also so pretty and I can't remember the maker's mark at the moment but there those those blue plates I thought they were gorgeous they were Devon Cottage that was the style I think Johnson Brothers I really there were four of them and she wanted five dollars for each of them which isn't bad I guess I, I looked at prices on eBay for this kind of thing this was a very cheaply made, like, newer dresser, but it was really pretty. And then the, I loved all these lined up. I don't know who painted all those, but they looked really cool all together. They were just really lightweight, cheap little side tables. Look at that frog. He really made me laugh. And then this table I would be a really cool entry table. It was only $75. Crazy. Really solid good looking piece kind of makes me wish I had more space <laughs> or more houses to decorate this was a neat old uh, desk pull down desk beautiful and a very nice drop leaf table made of cherry really nice big one. I have one that's so small, even with the leaves up. And another booth had these two really nice, they, I think they were brand new, these blue full-size coverlets. Very Swedish style. And then this cool old thing, this was a real primitive, really good looking. I could see that in a kitchen or just anywhere. I, lo I loved the patina and the, the light scrubbed wood. This set of office chairs was pretty cool. Very colonial looking. I wonder where they had been. That big one with the arms was actually a swivel chair. And then this, I could not figure out what it was. I had to go read the tag. It's a little stool for a vanity. It looks very 1930s. Little Kentucky... This, I see these everywhere. They're, they call them sewing tables. And a pretty old dresser. I thought this print was pretty cool. It wasn't in a frame. But good looking. A little settee. I could not find a price on that. I don't know if it was for sale. But I liked it. And also this light fixture. These chairs would have looked great. Painted um, some Swedish country colors. And look at that's a pretty cool mirror. It uh, looks like a beach house or something on the top. It's in that true Mo style. I really liked that a lot. They only wanted $7.95 for this really nice frame print of my old Kentucky home. 
which I've never seen before. I've seen tons of pictures of my own Kentucky home, but never that one. And this was a a neat, I think that probably used to have a mirror. It said it was a reproduction vanity. The handles on it were really nice. I loved this desk too. I think it would have looked really nice painted or maybe paired with a painted chair. And then this shop had, these were things from Threshold, Target's, um, I think they were designed with Studio McGee or at least Threshold anyway. They were brand new and they, they called them banana baskets and they wanted $19.99 for each of them. I really liked these. These would be so handy for storage. I, I even thought of getting multiples and handing them out as gifts. And then this was a really cool piece. I, I think it was an old work table. Again, like a primitive someone had made. And the little tag said that would be a great kitchen island. And I agree, in the right kitchen, this would be a really, really cool piece. I love the blue color on it. The same booth had another awesome primitive farm table. It had a lot of stuff on top of it, but look at it. Oh, so pretty. I love the, the aged look on it. Perfect for farmhouse style. All the things in this booth really seem to have been made by, I imagine, like somebody's great-grandfather. It all had a very handmade, homemade feel to it. Except maybe that trunk. I actually have a box like that green one that my husband's great-grandfather made. And then there's a little sweet little cradle down there too underneath that cool table. The last thing I was driving away, I caught a glimpse of this church and I had to stop and take a picture of it. The view from the road was absolutely stunning and I couldn't quite get it in person, but look at that sweet classic American church out in the countryside. Beautiful green doors and with the white paint just beautiful and that was the view from the church when you came up over the rise in the car you, you could see the hay bales and the church and over the whole valley and it was just beautiful well, i felt like the pickings were pretty slim today at the places i went but here is a room that i pulled together with the things that i found i just did it kind of for a fun challenge to see if i could put together a whole room out of the things I just found from one afternoon at the thrift shops. So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up it down below and please subscribe to my channel if you love thrifted European style decor. This is Kathleen from Old World Farmhouse. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.